Hey guys, how are you going? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the object.seal function in JavaScript. So it's a very simple function and basically it prevents properties or methods from being added or removed from an existing object and it is very useful when developing libraries or working in large teams. And the reason why it's useful in those scenarios is because uh, you can basically create an object and then you can say that you don't want any other developers tampering with your object. So with that being said, let's go inside the text editor right here, go down to the JavaScript section and I'll show you how to use object.seal. So firstly, let's make a new constant and call this O equal to a new object just like this. We can add two properties. Let's add name and make this Dom and let's add age and make him 45 years old. Um, so now we have this object. I can seal it by very simply saying object.seal just like this and passing in my object. So now the object has been sealed, which means um, after this point right here, I can't add or remove any other properties from the object. So let's now console.log o and uh, in between these two lines I'm going to try and add a new property called occupation. I'm going to say o.occupation is equal to web developer. I'm going to save this here and then refresh the browser and we can see right here the occupation property has not been changed. Sorry, uh, has not been added. Okay. Um, so that of course is the effects of the object being sealed. If I was to go back and uh, comment out this object seal line, save this and try again, we can see now the occupation property has actually been added. So of course um, the same thing works for removing um, a property. So let's go back inside here and just reseal the object and then try to delete o.name. Okay, save this and refresh and we can see I still have my name right here. Okay, just also keep in mind and it's actually quite important um, to know that just because you can't add or remove properties, it doesn't mean that you can't actually change their value. So let's go back inside here. I can still say o.name is equal to let's make him Bob. So I can still change the value of existing properties after the object has been sealed. Let's save this and refresh and we can see that my name is now Bob. So that is the key difference between seal and freeze. Okay. Um, also one more thing. Uh, let's go back inside here. I'm going to say use strict up the top here. So if I try and use uh, strict mode, uh, just above here. Also, uh, don't use use strict globally. It is recommended you always use use strict inside functions uh, rather than being globally. But anyway, just for uh, demonstration purposes, let's put use strict up here and then run the same code. I'm going to save this here and now refresh and we can see that now we actually get a type error when trying to uh, add or remove properties from that object. Okay, so uh, maybe um, if you're using seal, it might be worth at the same time to also use strict mode. Um, and one last thing actually I want to talk about is uh, the very similar method or the related method um, that is called is sealed. So for this, essentially, it returns a boolean. I'll just uh, remove these two lines to remove that error. And I'm going to say down here, console.log object dot is sealed, just like that. And then pass in here once again my object and uh, save this and then refresh. And we can see we get true. So the object is sealed. And that's basically how you can check. Uh, back inside here, let's just put this line um, above the object.seal this time. Uh, save this and now of course we can see it is false. So uh, that right there is object.seal in JavaScript. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you later.